this is the highlight. We're actually stopping for shore lunch, and Bob, our guide, is fast. He says he, most of the time when he's got clients out fishing, they don't like to spend too much time eating. They want to get back to the action. So he's almost got the frying pan ready to deep fry the fish. We're going to have some nice walleye. We kept one small pike. And what I'm doing, this is a recipe that I learned from Bob Ballantyne when we were in Capus Casing, Ontario. I'm making walleye bobs. So I'm taking a strip, a strip of fish, and you can use pike or uh, walleye. And I'm placing it on a strip of bacon, just the same bacon that you use for breakfast. It's very important that the bacon is on the outside of the strip. And then you start rolling it so that the bacon is on the outside. That way, when it's cooking, the fish won't fall apart. Because if you cook fish at all, you know that especially if it doesn't have the skin on, or if you're cooking it and it's not whole, that it'll fall apart. So what I'm doing is literally making like shish kebabs, but it's fish with bacon. So I've got three on this skewer, and I think I'm going to go with three on the other skewer. So you know, the, the bacon has such a nice flavor as it cooks that you don't really have to put any more seasonings on it. You could put some salt and pepper or even some fish crisp, but even just rolling it up in the bacon. And what happens after it's cooked, when you bite into it, because the bacon is throughout, you get a really nice flavor mix. Okay, so you see I'm trying to do them nice and tight. I'm making sure that that fillet is covered. And then uh, these are just dollar store skewers. And these are gonna lay on top of the grill and they're gonna taste great. So look, you can understand, right? We got the bacon inside um, throughout, but you gotta have it on the outside. And you let it cook so that it's well done. So as the bacon cooks, it'll actually compress and keep the fish in there. <laughs> 